Hi everyone, welcome or welcome back to my channel. So if you are new here, it would mean so much for me if you could subscribe. In today's video, I'm going to be doing a how I style some denim shorts. I did do a poll over my Instagram, so if you did want to be involved with any of my upcoming YouTube videos, my Instagram will be on the screen right now. Um, I basically asked you if you wanted to see how I style a blazer or how I style denim shorts. Most of you said denim shorts, which I thought would be the answer because obviously the time of year we're in right now, it was probably going to be the favourite answer. But obviously I will do a how I style my blazer in the future for those of you that wanted to see that video. Um, but I have picked up two new pairs of denim shorts from Zara. They are now my absolute like staple pieces, staple denim shorts. They're so, so perfect fit. If you wanted to see how I style these denim shorts, then keep on watching. So these are the two pairs of denim shorts I have to show you. So we'll start with the blue ones. Basically both the high-rise denim shorts from Zara. Um, I recently picked these up. I believe they were about £17.99. Um, I think so. I'll link them down below. Um, but they're basically a kind of high-rise short with the distress at the back. Um, I think they give quite a nice coverage. They do show a little bit of bum, but obviously it depends, I think, how you want the sizing. I went true to size, so I went down to my normal size, which is a size 6. I know some people like to size up so that when they get the short, when they do the belt, it kind of gives that illusion of like an oversized short. Um, but I just wanted them fitted, and you could easily still wear a belt with these if that's how you want to style them. And then these are the black pair here. I think, actually, out of the two of them, the black pair are my favourite, which I really didn't expect because I'm not a very... I don't really wear that much black, but I really, really love these. Um, and again, they just fit so perfectly. And as I said, I got them both in a size 6. They're just enough distressing, but not too much. And they just add so much to an outfit completely. The first outfit is going to be with the blue denim shorts. So with this outfit, I styled it with my blazer, which is my new River Island blazer. As you can see, it's still got the tag on it. I bought it just before we went into lockdown. Um, it's this beautiful, like, nude creamy colour, um, it just goes with everything and I've been wanting to pick one of these up for ages and I finally found one just before we went into lockdown. So it has got the kind of cuffed sleeve here, just rolled up here, um, but it's just this beautiful colour, it's got one gold detail button here um, and it's really great quality, it's got lining and everything. I got this in a size 8, so as I said my normal size is a size 6, I did want it slightly oversized but I didn't want it too much and this already came up slightly big, so I went to the size 8 and this was £50. It's such a good purchase, like I would highly, highly recommend it. And with the outfit as well, I also styled it with this new top I bought from Zara, which is this champagne style crop top. I've been literally looking for this for ages. It's been going in and out of stock. It's in this such beautiful, like shimmery satin champagne colour. I just think it looks a lot more expensive than it was. This top was £15.99, which I think is such a good price for the quality of this top. You can wear this without a bra, which is what I would do, especially as it's got the thin straps. And they are actually adjustable as well, so they fit you quite well. With the colour of the blazer and the colour of the denim shorts, I think it will just work really well with the nude tones and the pop of like the blue from the shorts. And then to finish this look off, I'm then pairing these with my Primark loafer shoes. Um, you will notice quite a lot of my shoes are from Primark. I just buy a lot of shoes from Primark. Um, just because I find they're really good and they're cheap. But I do want to start purchasing a little bit more like better quality shoes. They've got this gold detailing which I think really went well with the gold detailing on the blazer. And obviously the colour of the shoes fit quite well with the colour of the blazer as well. So my second outfit is actually with the top I'm wearing at the moment and the black denim shorts. So I saw a girl on Instagram wear this and I instantly that's what made me buy these two items. So both items are from Zara, obviously the denim shorts here, the black denim shorts, it would look lovely I think with the blue denim shorts as well, but um, I personally just wanted to wear it with the black ones. And then obviously I've got this top here which I will show you in the trunk clip just to my side. Um, it's basically they called the poplin top, I think it's sort of like a puff sleeve um, with the kind of crinkled material in the middle and then a frill at the bottom of the top. Um, and I just think it comes down to a perfect length, it's not kind of too, it's not too cropped but it's not too long so it fits quite nicely and lays over the shorts quite lovely as well. And then just to finish this outfit, I just paired it with my black sliders from Primark. I got these last year and they're kind of like a bow kind of detailing um, with the suede on the black. Um, and they're quite a nice sort of slim shoe and I just think this outfit is really simple. This would look really, really lovely on holiday um, and going out for drinks or anything like that. I think this outfit is really, really lovely. Again, you could change it up with some white trainers or even with heels to really, really dress it up. Next up, we've got another outfit with the blue denim shorts. So with this outfit, I wanted to go with quite a light coloured based outfit. To be fair, most of my outfits are quite light coloured based because as I said, I don't really wear black that often. Um, but with this outfit, I paired it with my mango, it's almost like a kind of tweed style blazer with the cropped sleeves and 
like the little ruffles on the ends. I actually bought this in Magaluf when I was out there. There was actually a mango shop out there. So I don't know if they stock this. Obviously I bought this like last year I think. Um, but I don't know if they stock this in the UK. I got this in a size medium because this came up quite small. Like normally I would just get my normal size. Um, but yeah, I got this in a medium which is actually fitting me perfectly. It's, um, I didn't want this one oversized as this kind of style of it. It was quite like chic and quite feminine so I didn't want to really get this too oversized and then I also paired it with my white Zara halter neck bodysuit you would have seen these everywhere they're just a basic I have also got this in the black as well which you could pair with it but personally I feel like that would be just too many colours going on I think if you paired it with the black shorts that would work um, but as I'm going with more of a kind of neutral white coloured outfit I went with this one so this is just a really really simple neckline I think it just is really really flattering for any body shape and with the cream from the blazer I just think it works really really well and then with this outfit I just paired it with these white trainers I have which are my Kurt Geiger Carvella trainers and they've got kind of like a little bit of a gold detail in it and some snake print on there I think these trainers are a little bit nicer than just a complete pair of plain white trainers and just a little bit more like expensive looking as well then back to the black denim shorts so for this outfit I paired it with my leopard print Zara bodysuit this one is my absolute favourite I just think it's so lovely obviously there's less you can pair with it as it's a lot obviously much more of a louder print um, I just think it's so lovely and the colours in the leopard print just work so well and yeah this is probably one of my favourite looks um, just because I love this bodysuit and with black obviously it works so well with all the black in the actual bodysuit then with this one I just paired it with my black sliders from Primark I just think these are such a basic and they've lasted me so long and they're still such good quality so I would definitely recommend purchasing some of these if they still have them when Primark reopens <laughs> excuse the lighting in this video it keeps going in and out because the weather is just absolutely awful today um, but my next outfit is again with the blue denim shorts so with this outfit I wanted to keep it a lot more casual so I went with my Polo La Ralph Lauren white jumper. This is a really, really simple jumper, but obviously it just makes it a little bit more expensive with the Polo logo on it. Obviously you could just style this with a plain white jumper. Um, I just chose this one as it's one of my favourites. Um, but I got it in an oversized fit. I've actually This is actually from the men's section in a size large, so it's really nice and oversized. And I feel like tucked into the denim shorts would just look lovely, just quite effortless. Um, but kind of making it look a little bit more put together rather than leaving it untucked and it probably looking a little bit too slouchy obviously it depends how you would want to wear it but personally I would just slightly tuck this in maybe just a kind of slight side tuck or maybe just like a front tuck with this as it is quite a casual outfit I kept to leaving it with just trainers again I'm using my Carvella white trainers with this which I think just adds a little bit of different with the snake print it just adds a little bit of something to the outfit um, and I really like this outfit, I just think it's a really everyday casual outfit especially it would be really nice in the summer just go shopping in this outfit because it's comfortable but you still look put together and quite cute as well so for my next one again with the blue denim shorts I am now pairing it with my check shirt and this is one of my new absolute like staple pieces in my wardrobe I'm just obsessed with it like you would have seen if you watched my pretty little thing haul it was like my favourite thing I bought and I've been waiting to buy this so it's got a lot of like neutral brown cream tones in it so it was quite nice to have this with the blue denim shorts I think you could pair it with the black as well but I personally wanted to keep it a little bit more lighter and less darker in the outfit so with this I think it looks really nice as it's quite slouchy with the denim shorts being quite tight fitted so I wanted a kind of tight fitted top underneath this as well I went with this white crop top from Misguided and I got this in a size 4 and um, this one's one of them kind of like basic ones that everyone has like you can get these from Zara now um, the only thing I would say with this one it is quite see through um, but with nipple covers it would be absolutely fine I had it with my Air Force trainers uh, these look disgusting but they're my only other white pair of trainers so I am looking into investing in some more because yeah these aren't the, looking the cutest right now but I just thought I didn't want something too out there on the feet because I thought the check shirt is kind of the stable piece of the outfit so these are just a nice simple shoe and my last two outfits are both with the black denim shorts. So the first one out of the two is with this uh, nude bodysuit I got from Pretty Little Thing recently. My boyfriend actually got this one for me, which is so lovely of him. But it is basically this neutral sand colour. Um, it's in this slinky material with this lovely kind of like scoop line neckline, I believe. Um, and then just ruching on the sleeves, which I feel like this bodysuit could definitely, with this outfit, could be worn more dressed up. 
For this outfit I'm going to casual it down a bit but obviously up to you if you want to dress this up with more heels because it is quite a dressy bodysuit but as well you can casual it down like I am as well. Carvella trainers I feel like kind of some of the neutral tones in the snake print and the gold with it kind of worked with the bodysuit and it just worked really well with the black as well um, just adding a little bit of something to, with the shoe um, but keeping it as overall a quite simple outfit. As I said you could definitely style this up with some heels or even putting on some sandals as well um, but I just absolutely love this outfit I feel like it's just a complete just go to outfit. The last one with my black denim shorts again um, is with this top which I hardly wear that much but I picked this out and I thought this would actually be really nice there is a kind of trend of these tops now that have not these one this one in particular but the ones that are kind of like a larger sleeve this, it kind of gave me that similar vibe with the frill on the sleeve I'm making the shoulders look slightly like larger I don't know how to, it's kind of like padding on the shoulders and I felt like this kind of gave it a similar vibe with this one I wanted to complete it I wanted to keep it completely black and making the shoe more of the staple piece in this outfit. From River Island and I got it in a size 8. Again, I sized up with this one because it came down quite small. And as I said, with this outfit, I wanted to make the shoes a little bit of a staple piece. Some of you may hate these sliders. I absolutely love them. Obviously, they are like a fake Gucci print from Primark. But I just think they're really, really lovely. And that pop of colour with the rest of the outfit being black, I think really works. And just makes the shoes kind of the staple piece of these. So that is it for today's video. I really hope you enjoyed this video. Comment down below any other videos you would like to see. And I will just see you in my next video. Bye.